Howdy partner, we're wearing the America shirt today. Alright, so today I wanted to talk to you about Jesus being Son of God. Now if you already clicked away, that's a little unfortunate because you should listen to this. Because <clears throat> Jesus just realized he was descended from the first person that was the male. He, he, in, in, like, think about the scientific Adam and Eve. The, the first Adam, the first man to uh, descend all further human beings, and the first woman to descend all human beings are the scientific Adam and Eve. So, uh, when we think about, um, oh geez, look at me, not planning anything. Alright, so these are different people, they never knew each other. The first man and the first woman, uh, they, they date back countless generations. And Jesus just realized that there is power in the world. And that is to say that there are certain, uh, think about them like perks. Uh, you can pick up perks in this world and it's fun to realize what perks you have. I think about it like a, a, a strength or an attribute that you have. And Jesus realized that as long as he could pray to God, then he could realize these powers. And um, what the Christian dogma would bring you to believe is that Jesus is the most important person in the entire universe. There is nothing more important than this all-powerful half-man, half-deity. And what I've came to realize in the past few days after amassing countless amounts of information from a single text, um, Do 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 Right, yeah, so I didn't get to anywhere. Um but I realized that um God is a first name. God used to be a first name and um what Jesus realized is that we're all deities. Uh we're 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 all a a deity. Uh, if you have more people worshiping you, then you get better at what they're worshiping you for. And uh, Jesus realized this, so uh, since everyone worships Jesus for saving them, then Jesus is really good at saving people. Because that's what he's worshipped for. Think about it like uh, uh, everyone can have a certain amount of devotion dedicated to them. Devotion, uh, think about whatever game you like to play that has a devotion stat. I think uh, the, the um, Elden Ring, that has a devotion stat in it. Uh, I, I think about magic. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I think about Magic the Gathering so much because Magic the Gathering, it works on so many different levels. It's uncanny how, how well Magic the Gathering can parallel to the real world. So, um... Find something you're really good at, that's the point of this video, find something you're really good at and uh, throw yourself at it and kind of show people that you are good at that. Uh, my my thing is uh, that I am very good at, and I don't know if you're supposed to tell people what you're good at, but very obviously Jesus had some of his homeboys write down some things to carry on his legacy, so everyone should work towards having a legacy. And we've covered a couple things in this video that the elites don't want you to know about. First of all, they don't want you knowing that you should have a legacy. You should have, uh, you know, like a, a piece of land that is uh, funded by a trust that allows you to um, have a little statue of yourself saying, oh, this person was so selfless, they dedicated their lives to feeding orphan puppies, as my father would say. And uh, we, we also covered that uh, a prayer. Uh, prayer is something that you pray into the mind, which is what uh, generates the causal reality that we experience. And that's something else that the elites don't want you to know. They don't really mind once you know about it, as long as you don't go like shouting it around like you're a crazy person. Like, hey, did you know this? Did you know that if you pray, it works? Uh, it, it's... Uh, 
the the closest depiction to what I've realized that the future we're going towards is is Brave New World. And Brave New World, when I read it, I mean, it's not something I want to read. It's not something I intend on reading ever, but I do read it on occasion. It's just awfully terrifying. It's so, it's, it's soul crushing. It, it, it's bright and it's sparkly and it's like, the lyrics are so down. And with that, I'd like to invite you to like so other people can see the video, comment on what you thought was interesting or what you want to talk to me about, and subscribe so you can keep seeing my videos. I'm Liam from Bishop Vlogs. That's my last name. Don't wear it out. Thanks for watching.